want to go to a movie tonight? Oh. I'd love to, Harry, but I can't. <laughs> what do you have? A hot to date. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Wait, really? You tell the story like you're an innocent bystander. You say you don't know who this woman is, but... I didn't. You were having sex with her boyfriend. That is so beside the point. Oh, it is. Before the war changed you. The war didn't change me. It changed you. It might have changed me. Man, you know what's wrong with me? Staying here and begging you to stay with me? I don't have to beg no woman for the damn thing in the world. You've assaulted me with this shit. You've hit me right between the eyes, Nana. You might as well just take my sidearm and let the bullets do the talking. I don't beg. Who ate this candy? Meg. My one birthday present. And look what she does. Why? She's taken one little bite out of each piece and then just put it back in. And why did she accost you in a crowded bar? Because she's a lunatic. And the uh, Augie told her I was pregnant. Things have been hard for Meg. After all, she was the one who found Mama. But that has always been the excuse. But I tell you. I'm sorry, Beck. If this is hard, I know the timing really sucks. Hey, what can you do? I'm just glad you finally told me it. I'm really happy for you. Don't make me rip my life in half and erase 11 years of it, because then I'm dead for sure, Gabby. Why do you gotta be that way? Because I'm not supposed to make it easy for you to break my heart. You know, Harry, I think it'll be a while before we're actually able to enjoy going out with someone new. Yeah. And maybe even longer before we're able to go to bed with someone new. Well, um, did go to bed with her. You went to bed with her? Yeah. Oh. Make you shake my